Solana just hit an all-time high and some of you are wondering how you can produce extra income on your newly held SOL tokens. With staking, you can help secure the network just for contributing your tokens. And there's two methods to this strategy, native staking or liquid staking. Both carry their own unique benefits, so today I wanted to cover how you too can begin earning passive income on your SOL tokens. Let's take a look. So right off the bat, native staking would include delegating your SOL directly to a validator versus liquid staking where you delegate your SOL to either a smart contract or a staking pool. When it comes to rewards distribution with native staking, the amount of SOL increases over time as rewards are recruited. Native staking is the most direct way of staking. You can do it on a centralized exchange such as Coinbase, Binance, or even directly in your Phantom wallet. And with liquid staking, you will receive an equivalent liquid staking token, LST, for your contribution. The liquid platforms include Jito, where you receive Jito SOL, Marinade Finance, where you receive the MSOL token, MarginFi, where you receive the LST token, and Blaze, where you receive the BSOL token. So let's get started with the easiest method. You can stake natively with your Coinbase account. That would net you 6% APY. Of Binance, you can stake directly for up to 11% APR. And you can also choose to receive the BNSOL token. So BNSOL is a liquid staking token. And you can use BNSOL on different DeFi platforms. Or if you have the Phantom Wallet. Within your own Phantom Wallet, there is a start earning SOL section. And you have two options, either native staking for up to 6% APY or liquid staking with up to 10% APY. So depending on your risk tolerance, native staking tends to be generally the safer option versus liquid staking, which carries smart contract risk. So for now, we'll do native staking. We'll click inside here and you'll have to stake directly with a validator. You can choose Phantom Zone Validator. P2P is another great choice. We have Chorus One or even Figment. So that covers native staking. So on to liquid staking. CoinGecko has created a super helpful guide when it comes to liquid staking. So the first choice would be Jito Finance. So on the website, Jito.net network, you would deposit some Solana and receive the Jito Sol token. And that would net you up to 10% APY at the current rate. So with liquid staking, your LST token is your one-to-one -one representation of your original stake amount. So for the Jito platform, your new Jito Sol token represents your equivalent amount of Sol token. So what can you do with your newly held Jito Sol token? You can then provide liquidity to other DeFi platform such as MarginFi and Camino Finance to earn extra yield. And keep in mind, Jito is actually the largest DeFi platform currently on the Solana platform with over $3 billion total value loss. So the next liquid staking platform would be Marinade Finance. So on the website, marinade.finance, you have the option of doing native staking for up to 11% APY or liquid staking for up to 10% APY. Native staking would be the safest and easiest route. You don't receive a equivalent LS token yet you still receive the reward with liquid staking you will receive the equivalent mSOL token and from there you can take your mSOL and continue earning extra yields on platforms such as MarginFi or again Camino. Next, we have MarginFi itself. So on the website MarginFi.com, you would go over to the stake section. So here you would stake your SOL token and in return, you would receive the LST token. Now with the LST token, you can provide liquidity on the MarginFi platform again, or even on Camino under the Borrowland or liquidity section. Next, we have Blaze. So on the website SoulBlaze.org, you would navigate to the stake section and you would provide some Solana token. And in return, you receive the BSOL token. With this BSOL token, you guessed it, provide liquidity again on MarginFi or Camino. And lastly, we have Sanctum. So on Sanctum for providing Solana, you can in turn receive a variety of LST tokens. You're free to choose. To so say you swap for the INF token or even the JUPSOL token, you would take that new token and continue multiplying your rewards on other DeFi platforms. And once again, looking at the rankings on DeFi Llama, we see Jito's ranked number one by total value lock. Camino's ranked number two with over two billion total value lock. Marinade Finance with over two billion dollars lock and even Sanctum with over a billion dollars worth of total value lock. So month over month, we've definitely seen an increase of DeFi activity coming back into the Solana ecosystem. So there you have a straightforward guide on how you can continue earning passive income just for staking your Solana. Depending on your investment strategy, I would choose either native staking or liquid staking and or both. Just depends on your 
risk tolerance. So the amount of users coming back into Solana has definitely exploded and I'm definitely bullish on the Solana roadmap ahead. Don't forget to stay up to date with everything Solana related on their official X page at Solana. And don't forget to check out my YouTube channel where I have tons of free crypto tutorials. So what do you think about Solana staking? Let me know in the comment section. And as always, if you have any questions, please leave a question in the comment section. I'll be happy to respond. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.